Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing complex number and uh, we have completed uh, the exercise which has been given. Now, uh, there we will discuss some more questions from miscellaneous exercise because a very uh, few questions are um, there in exercise and miscellaneous there are some good questions. So, let us discuss uh, today miscellaneous exercise and uh, I am going to take on questions from miscellaneous. So let us see the miscellaneous exercise of complex number. Right now, complex number. I am taking miscellaneous exercise today. So the question first question which is given here evaluate that is a simple but still iota to the power 38 plus iota to the power 18 so this looks like 38 18 plus 1 upon iota whole to the power 25 and this whole to the power 3 Easily one can solve it. Iota to the power 18 is nothing else, but uh, that can be written as iota to the power 4 whole to the power 4 into iota square. Or even you can write it, uh, it will be better to write here minus 1 iota square to the power 9. So we can write it iota square. Right? We will write iota square whole to the power 9 that is minus 1 to the power 9 which is minus 1 and 1 upon iota to the power 25. So 1 upon iota to the power 29 is 1 upon iota to the power 4 whole to the power 6 into iota that can be 1 upon 1 into iota so 1 by iota. So the thing will come like uh, here this is minus 1 plus 1 by iota and whole to the power 3. So I can write it uh, by using the fact that minus 1 plus iota if I will multiply numerator and denominator then denominator it will be minus 1 because iota square that is 3. So we can write it uh, the simple thing is minus 1 minus iota whole to the power 3 and further this can be written as a minus b whole q type so that will be negative side in common and 1 plus iota whole to the power 3 like this so we can write it minus 1 plus iota q plus 3 iota square plus 3 right now that will come so it will be minus 1 minus iota because iota q is minus iota, iota square is minus 1. So minus 3 plus 3 and 3, 3 cancels. So it will be minus and if you multiply this will be iota minus 1. So that will be the answer or minus 1 plus iota. Better to write in a plus iota b form. So you can write it. minus 1 plus iota that will be minus 1 plus iota answer so the first question is like this now the second question is for any two complex number any two complex number z1 and z2 prove that prove that what is that that question is um, prove that real part of z1 z2 is equal to real part of z1 z2 is equal to real part of z1 real part of z2 and minus imaginary part of z1 and imaginary part of z2 so this has been already discussed uh, during the discussion of question but still let us write here solution once again 
let z1 is equal to a plus iota b and z2 is equal to c plus iota d. So if I multiply z1, z2, then that will be a plus iota b into c plus iota d, isn't it? And what will be that? a c minus b d plus iota a d plus b c, isn't it? So real part of real part of z1, z2 is what? A C minus B D and A is what? A is real part of Z1. So that is real part of Z1 and C is what? A real part of Z2. And B is imaginary part of Z1 and D is imaginary part of Z2. That is a proof. Right now? So that is simple one. Now question number three is there and question number three will be like a uh, reduce reduce 1 upon 1 minus 4 iota minus 2 upon 1 plus iota and 3 minus 4 iota divided by 5 plus iota into a standard form to a standard form a standard form is what a plus iota so we will have to prove this now the solution part will be I can take calcium and that will be 1 plus iota minus 2 plus 8 iota whole divided by 1 multiply by 1 is 1 plus iota minus 4 iota minus 4 iota multiply by iota is minus 4 iota square and iota square is minus 1, so it will be plus 4 into 3 minus 4 iota upon 5 plus iota. So that will be nothing else. 1 minus 2 is minus 1 plus 9 iota divided by 1 plus 4, 5 minus 3 iota and multiply by the same thing 3 minus 4 iota upon 5 plus iota. So again we will multiply the same and we will get it. The output will be minus 1 multiply by 3 is minus 3 plus 4 iota. 9 iota multiply by 3 is 27 iota minus 9 4 is 36 iota square. So it will be plus divided by 5 5 is 25 plus 5 iota minus 5 3 is 15 iota and minus 3 iota square that will be plus 3. So 36 minus 3 is 33 and 27 plus 4 is 31 iota and whole divided by 25 plus 3 is 28 plus minus 10 iota. But we need to multiply by conjugate so 28 plus 10 iota and that will be 28 plus 10 iota. So it will be uh, product will be again there and that product will come 28 multiply with 3 is 84 84 carry 8 and 24 3 is 84 and 8 92 so 924 and this will be 28 a real part will come from here and real part will come from there so minus 310 and imaginary part will come from here only uh, 330 plus 31 multiply by 28 so 28 1 is 28 carry 2 at 28 3 is 84 and 286 iota a whole divided by this will be 28 a square is 784 and 10 a square is 100 so it will be 924 614 upon 884 884 plus iota times this will be 311 98 1198 divided by 884 and that will be the answer and uh, you can simplify by cancelling this because there is no space so i'm not writing this but definitely you'll be able to cancel it and write in simplest form and that will be in a plus iota b4 so now the next question is question number four and question number four is given that if x minus iota this is important one 
is equal to a minus iota b upon c minus iota d prove that prove that x square plus y square whole square is equal to a square plus b square whole divided by c square plus d square that you need to prove so replace we can write the simplest way to write this solve this question is um, we will write here we have x minus iota y is equal to a minus iota b upon c minus iota d replace iota by minus iota write like this replace iota by minus iota this is one so you will have x plus iota y is equal to under root a plus iota b upon c plus iota d this is 2 now multiply 1 and 2 you can do like this this is the simplest way to do this multiply 1 into 2 you will have x plus iota y into x minus iota y that is conjugate of two complex number and here it will be a minus iota b upon c minus iota d multiply by the same in root a plus iota b upon c plus iota d that will be also inside root now that will be x square plus y square using the fact and that will be also a square plus b square upon c square plus d square now squaring both the sides on a squaring you will have x square plus y square whole square and this side root will be removed a square plus b square upon c square plus d square that is proof right so you can do like this there is no problem at all and hopefully you will do this now there are some question convert question number six five question number five convert the following in polar form the following in polar form in polar form polar form right and first part of the question was 1 plus 7 iota divided by 2 minus iota whole square 2 minus iota whole square and the second part of the question so there is a second part also but let me simplify this first I am going to write the solution here and uh, if I am going to simplify this 1 plus 7 iota divided by 4 plus iota square minus 4 iota so that will be 1 plus 7 iota divided by 4 minus 1 3 minus 4 iota multiply by 3 plus 4 iota in numerator as well so what will come that will be uh, basically 3 minus 28 7 4 is 28 and 7 3 is 21 iota and uh, plus 4 iota divided by 9 plus 16 so that will be minus 25 upon 25 and that will be 25 iota upon 25 so finally this will come like minus 1 plus iota now we have to represent this in polar form so we can write it now let minus 1 plus iota is equal to r cos theta plus iota sin theta and now r can be calculated as how under root a square plus b square where r is equal to r is equal to under root minus 1 is whole square into 1 whole square that is under root 2 and tan theta is equal to what given by 1 upon minus 1 since it lies in second quadrant since minus 1 plus i lies in second quadrant second quadrant trend and therefore theta is equal to minus pi by 4 and hence from first one can write here from first minus 1 plus iota is equal to can be written as root 2 cos 
pi by 4 minus iota sin pi by 4 cos minus theta is cos theta and sin minus theta is minus sin theta so that will come and this will be the answer of this question now second part of this question is uh, we have second part 2 and second part of this question was 1 plus 3 iota upon 1 minus 2 iota that you have to represent in polar form so further this can be also written as 1 plus 3 iota upon 1 minus 2 iota multiplied by its conjugate 1 plus 2 iota and 1 plus 2 iota so that will be 1 plus 5 iota minus 6 divided by 1 plus 4 so finally it will come minus 5 plus 5 iota upon 5 so it will be minus 1 plus iota minus 1 plus iota so again to represent in polar form we can write let minus 1 plus iota is equal to r cos theta plus iota sin theta in polar form where r is equal to where r is equal to under root 2 and tan theta is equal to since lies in second quadrant so that will be pi minus pi by 4 is equal to 3 pi by 4 and hence we will write sorry um, let me write here the same question is there this is minus 1 plus iota and that one also is minus 1 plus iota lies in second quadrant and second quadrant theta will be pi minus pi by 4 pi minus pi by 4 that will be 3 pi by 4 okay so i have written here second quadrant but sorry forget this so it will be 3 pi by 4 plus iota 3 pi by 4 that will be answered now this is same question so again what will happen it will be minus 1 therefore from first so oh, minus 1 plus iota is same as root 2 cos 3 pi by 4 plus iota sin 3 pi by 4 so same question same answer okay now question number 6 is there and uh, we can have question number 6 solve each of the following from 6 to 9 uh, here it is written that solve each of the following each of now so each of the following from 6 to 9 6 to 9 6 to 9 and what is that there is a question 6 solve 3x square minus 4x plus 20 by 3 20 by 3 is equal to 0 that further can be written as um, x is equal to minus b plus minus under root b square that is 16 minus 4 ac3 into 20 by 3 divided by 2a 2 into 3 and that will come up like 4 plus minus 16 minus 3 3 cancel and this is 80 so 16 minus 80 is minus 64 we can write directly that is minus 64 and minus 64 divided by 6 so we can write 4 plus minus 8 iota divided by 6 if i take 2 common this will be 2 plus minus 4 iota divided by 3 and that is 2 plus 3 plus minus 4 by 3 iota and this will be the answer of this question i hope you got it now question number 7 is there and 7 question is again written in similar pattern x square minus 2x plus 3 by 2 is equal to 0 again you will write x is equal to 2 plus minus under b square that is 4 minus 4ac 1 into 3 by 2 divided by 2a 2 into 1 so that will be 2 plus minus 4 
and 4 minus 6 that is minus 2 right now divided by 2 so that will be 2 minus 2 and that will be 2 plus minus root 2 iota divided by 2 so answer will come up like uh, that will be x is equal to 1 plus minus 1 by root 2 iota there, there will be two answer x is 1 plus 1 by root 2 iota and 1 minus 1 by root 2 iota now question number 8 is there and question number 8 is are given like 27 x square minus 10 x plus 1 is equal to 0 so in that case also uh, we can write x is equal to 10 plus minus under root 100 minus 108 right divided by 2 into 27 so that will be 10 plus minus 2 root 2 iota divided by 2 into 27. The 2 can be taken and cancels out. So 5 plus minus root 2 iota divided by 27. So that will be the answer of this question. There will be two answers, right? Now, uh, there are some question and uh, question number we can take up question number 9 uh, of the similar type that is 21x square minus 28x plus 10 is equal to 0. So again here x is equal to 28 plus minus root under 784b square minus 4ac so 84 into 0 divided by 2 into 21 so it will be 28 plus minus that will be 840 minus so 16 and minus 56 and 2 root 14 iota that will come minus 56 right now so 2 root 14 right iota divided by 2 into 21 so if i take 2 common then 14 plus minus root and 14 iota divided by 21 and further one can write 14 upon 21 plus minus root 14 upon 21 iota so that will be 2 by 3 plus minus root 14 upon 21 iota that will be answered i hope you got it now there is a question number 10 and that is a different questions so the series has been completed and 10th question is different what is that question if z1 is equal to 2 minus iota z2 is equal to 1 plus iota find modulus of z1 plus z2 plus 1 divided by z1 minus z2 plus 1 isn't it this you need to calculate so clearly solutions can be written as solution can be written as uh, z1 plus z2 is what z1 plus z2 plus 1 upon z1 minus z2 plus 1 so z1 plus z2 is 2 plus 1 is 3 and plus iota minus iota is 0 plus 1 divided by if i subtract z1 minus z2 2 minus 1 is 1 and minus iota minus iota minus 2 iota plus 1 so that will be 4 isn't it and divided by 2 minus 2 iota so that will be 2 upon 1 minus iota modulus and mod of z1 by z2 is equal to modulus of z1 by modulus of z2 so further this can be written as 2 upon 1 minus 2 upon 1 minus iota 
that will be 2 and 1 minus iota that will be under root 1 square plus minus 1 square that will be under root 2 so 2 by under root 2 each under root 2 and that will be answer of this question i hope you got it now question number 11 there is one more question 11 i'm going to click on and question number 11 is if a plus iota b is equal to x plus iota whole square divided by 2x square plus 1 prove that then prove that what to prove that a square plus b square is equal to x square plus 1 whole square divided by 2x square plus 1 whole square that you need to prove it so to solve this question uh, we will write here for solution since uh, a plus iota b is equal to x plus iota that can be solved x square minus 1 plus 2x iota divided by 2x square plus 1 that is 1 now again we will write replace replace iota by minus iota replace iota by minus iota so what will happen in that case replace iota by minus iota then a minus iota b is equal to x square minus 1 minus 2x iota divided by 2x square plus 1 that is 2 now multiply 1 and 2 if i multiply 1 and 2 then what will happen multiplying 1 and 2 we will have a plus iota b and a minus iota b that will be a square plus b square and here it will be x square minus 1 whole square and plus 2x whole square divided by 2x square plus 1 whole square because multiply this one and this one it will be a square and that can be a minus b whole square plus 4ab is a plus b whole square x square plus 1 whole square upon 2x square plus 1 whole square so that has been proved i hope you got it isn't it a minus b whole square plus 4ab 2x whole square is 4x square and if you split this this will come so a square plus b square that you have to prove uh, is equal to x square plus 1 whole square simple so this is the yeah, easiest way otherwise you can take both the sides modulus both the sides and then you square both the sides that is also the method in which you can proceed but i hope this method is uh, good enough and uh, you will be able to solve with this method then uh, definitely you will be able to uh, get it quickly and there is nothing wrong about it now there is another question that i am going to take on 12 this is given that let z1 is equal to 2 minus iota and z2 is equal to 2 plus iota then find first part is a real part of z1 z2 upon z1 conjugate and the second part of question was there was two part that imaginary part of 1 upon z1 into z1 conjugate so let us discuss this question what is this and how to deal with this question so first for solution for first question z1 um, z2 upon z1 conjugate is equal to z1 is 2 minus iota z2 is 2 plus iota and z1 conjugate is um, this is simple one z1 conjugate is nothing else 2 minus iota ka conjugate kya hoga? 2 plus iota so ye to pura ka pura cut jayega aur is mein 2 minus iota hoga to is mein real part of z1 z2 upon z1 conjugate is equal to is mein real part kya hai 2 and that will be the answer i hope you got it 
Now imaginary part of Z1 Z1 conjugate. Second part. Second part of solution is imaginary part of Z1 Z1 conjugate. 1 upon Z1 into Z1 conjugate is equal to 1 upon Z1 into Z1 conjugate is modulus of Z1 square. And that is what modulus of Z1 square is nothing else but uh, 2 square plus 1 square that is 5. Let me write 2 square plus 1 square that is 1 by 5. So since there is no imaginary part, so if someone want to write imaginary part of 1 upon Z1 into Z1 conjugate, then that will be 0. 0 will be answer. And I hope you got it. Right now. So these are few things. Now it's time to take a break. And after the break, we will discuss some more question. And uh, we will complete this exercise also. So here for till break, I am just writing this. This is a completion of what we have learned until uh, today. And uh, after the break, we will discuss some more questions.